So we come down here, all my kit's here, and I'll go straight to the G trousers. Uh, so I'll be putting those on. Now these are quite a tight fit, um, and during the display we pull, we pull quite a lot of G at different parts. Um, G-forces work um, against the body, um, and when we pull lots of it, we, um, we get a lack of oxygen to the brain, which can be dangerous and can cause people to pass out. Uh, so to stop that happening, we wear the G-trousers. Now when we're pulling G, these will start to inflate. <clears throat> when they inflate, um, the muscles in your legs have to react to that and will squeeze against it. And the theory is um, that when that happens, the blood will stop pooling in the legs and stay in your torso. So now I have more blood in my brain. Right, after I've got the G-trousers on, I'll go for the jacket. Uh, now this is our survival jacket. Now I've got this on, uh, I've got a flotation device here in case I need it. Uh, I've got survival aspects uh, and beacons to help people find me if I have to inject. Uh, and I'll also plug the trousers into the jacket as well. Uh, now this will attach to my ejection seat. Uh, it will give me an oxygen supply, so it will help inflate the jackets. It will give me an oxygen supply to the helmet, which I'll grab in a minute. Um, and it will also give me my communications as well. Grab my gloves, and then lastly I'll grab my helmet. My helmet's got my oxygen supply, so it'll help me breathe whilst I'm up there, and it's also got my communications as well, so I can chat to the rest of the formation. And that is it.